If you're a content creator, educator, or marketer, or if you make any kind of tutorial or presentation video, this video is for you. I know how difficult it is to do even basic editing of a video after a screen recording, especially for beginners or even professionals who are not from that field. That's why today, I'll show you a tool called FocusC that can literally make your work 50% easier. I've been using it myself for a while, and honestly, I'm super satisfied. So let's dive straight in and see how it works. First, simply download and install FocusC on your Mac or Windows computer using the link below and then activate your account. Once you open the software, you'll see a small window with three options, full screen, custom, and window. If you choose full screen, it records your entire screen. If you go with custom, you can drag and select a specific part of your screen that you want to record, which is super useful. And lastly, with the window option, you can capture only a specific application window. Now, before you actually hit the record button, there are a few quick settings you can adjust. First of all, you can set up your camera. For example, if you're making a tutorial and you also want your face to appear on the screen, you can simply enable your camera here. In my case, I'll keep it off for now. Next, you can select your microphone. If you're recording your voice, just choose your mic from the list. Since I'm not using one right now, I'll leave it on none. Similarly, you can also set your system audio device if you want to capture sound directly from your computer. Now, here comes a really cool feature that not many people know about, the teleprompter. This is super handy if you're recording with your face cam and doing a voiceover at the same time. All you need to do is paste your script right here, hit play, and it will start scrolling on your screen while you record. You can even adjust the scroll speed to match your speaking pace. Honestly, this feature alone is a game changer for creators who don't want to forget their lines. Amazing, right? For now, I'll close the teleprompter and go with a full screen recording. So I'll just click on full screen, hit record. Our screen recording has started. Now, let me show you some of the really awesome things you can do after your recording is finished. So here's a quick screen recording I just did. And wow, just look at the quality, the crystal clear. Now, if you compare this side by side with something like OBS, you can actually see the difference. And this right here is one of the biggest reasons I personally love using FocusC. So first of all, on the left-hand side, you'll see the canvas size and background controls. Here, you can choose the aspect ratio for any social media platform. For example, if you're creating content for YouTube Shorts, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram posts, Reels, it's all right here. Super convenient. For this demo, I'll just stick with the original size. Now make sure you keep the fixed zoom option turned on. This way, the automatic zoom animations will work smoothly. After that, we have padding. You can easily adjust it by dragging, just like this. Then there's inset which is basically like adding a stroke or border around your video. Honestly, I personally don't use it much because I prefer the shadow effect instead. You can also adjust the roundness of the canvas and play around with shadows until you get the look you like. Next up, the background settings. And trust me, this is one of Focusy's best features. You get a whole range of beautiful preset backgrounds that look really professional. Plus, there are some stunning gradient options that instantly make your video pop. And if you prefer, you can always pick a simple, solid color background to match your brand. Now let's move to cursor adjustments. Here, you can actually increase or decrease the size of your mouse cursor and even choose from different cursor styles. Some of them look pretty fun and unique, which really helps keep your tutorials engaging. And right after that, you'll see the click effects option. Every time you click your mouse, you can add different effects to make it more noticeable, like ripple, ring, spotlight, sparkle, and many more. This makes your recordings way more interactive and easier for viewers to follow along. In the end, you'll also find an option for cursor click sound. Once you turn this on, every time you click your mouse, an automatic click sound effect will be added. You can even choose the type of sound and adjust the volume according to your preference. All right, moving on. Now, the next feature is all about making your zoom in and out animations look super smooth. And this is done by applying the motion blur effect. First, you can add motion blur to your zoom in animation. Then, you can also apply motion blur to your cursor movements. This way, both your animation and your cursor movement will feel much smoother and more natural. On top of that, you can control the cursor speed, slow, medium, fast, or even rapid. And yes, you also get the option to fully customize these movements if you want. The same goes for your zoom and pan animations. You can change the movement style too. But honestly, I don't think you'll really need to mess around with these settings. The default settings work just fine and already look professional. So I'd suggest just leaving them as they are, okay? Next up, we have the camera and voiceover settings. But at least in my case, both of these options are unavailable here. That's why I can't show you the exact steps. However, what you can do is adjust your face cam placement inside your tutorial. For example, you can position yourself inside a circle or a rectangle. And trust me, these shapes look super professional and really add that extra polish to your videos. Next, we have the shortcut feature. While recording your screen, whenever you press any key on your keyboard, it will automatically show up on your screen. 
right? And here's the fun part. You can style those shortcut keys however you want. You can change the font color, pick different styles, and the best part, you can position them anywhere on your screen. Left, right, top, bottom, or even right in the middle, it's totally up to you. Honestly, this feature is super useful, especially for tutorials. All right, moving on. Now, the last setting here is the watermark option. From here, you can add your personal watermark. But to be honest, I don't really use this feature much. So let's just skip ahead and jump straight into the timeline because that's where things get really interesting. Let's see what features and controls we have there. So first of all, on the top side, you'll notice buttons for crop, cut, and blur. For example, if I click on the crop button, you'll see a new window pop up. Here, you get some pre-made canvas settings, but if you switch to custom, you can crop the display exactly the way you want, just like this. And once you're happy with it, click on apply. See, the display gets cropped really smoothly. Pretty neat, right? In the same way, you can also cut your video, and it's actually super easy, just like in other editing software. All you have to do is place the cursor exactly where you want to cut, make sure the layer is selected, then choose the cutter tool. Now you can split the layer into two parts just like this. You can even add two cuts and then simply delete the section in between. Easy and straightforward. Next, we have the spotlight option. With this, you can highlight any area of your screen. For example, let's say I want to highlight this section right here. I'll just select the area and boom, look at that. This effect looks so cool, right? Honestly, it's amazing for grabbing attention. After that, if you want to blur any part of your video, you can easily do that too. Just click on the blur button and you'll see a new layer pop up. Now, you can place this layer anywhere you want. For example, let's say I want to hide this section. I'll simply position the rectangle over it and maybe decrease the size a little. You can even adjust the roundness and blur strength to make it look just right. And here's the best part. If you want this blur to stay for the entire video, just drag that layer across the full timeline. Done. Your blur effect is applied throughout the video. Perfect. Now moving on to zoom animations. During the recording, wherever you clicked the mouse, automatic zoom in and out animations were already added. Here, you can control the animation duration just by dragging the animation layer. You can also increase or decrease the zoom level, like 4x, 2x, 1.5x, and so on. But here's what makes it even cooler. You can manually pick the part of your video that gets zoomed in or out. So, if you want to focus on a specific section of your video, you can totally do that. Not only that, you can even add a zoom in effect anywhere in your timeline. For example, let's say I want to zoom in on this download button. I'll just right click on the second layer and the zoom in effect is added instantly. Then, you can adjust the duration and position of that animation according to your needs. But you won't really need to, because Focusy is quite an advanced tool. It will handle everything perfectly. Once your editing is done, you can preview the entire video before exporting. If everything looks good, just exit the preview. And here's the crazy part. You can export your video in 4K at 30 FPS or even 60 FPS. That's mind blowing, right? On top of that, you can also get a shareable online link by uploading your video to the cloud. Super easy. So, as you just saw, this tool is not only easy to use, but also incredibly powerful. And the best part, the price is super affordable. It's just a one-time payment of $69, and then you can use it unlimited for a lifetime with all the new updates included. Honestly, that's an amazing deal. If you sign up through the link below and apply this promo code, you'll unlock an instant 20% discount. That means you can grab the lifetime plan for just $55 instead of $69.99. An amazing deal you don't want to miss. I really hope you enjoyed this honest tutorial. If yes, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of AI tips and tricks.